the new brawler Charlie just released. And she can cocoon whoever the heck she wants easily. So we're gonna master her in today's video to see if she is the most unfair brawler in Brawl Stars history. But our journey started all the way back on day one where we wanted to push our zero trophy Charlie all the way to 1,000 trophies in one stream. And it's a great way to see if the brawler's OP or not. So we jumped up the brawl pass with Kobe T1. Thanks for those of you using it. It helps support the channel so much. But then we maxed her out and they released Charlie with her hypercharge ready, which is crazy. So we hopped right into our first games to test her out. Okay. For those of you who have, haven't seen Charlie, that, that means you just haven't played the game. You haven't got your free hypercharge and stuff. But what's really broken about her, I think she's going to be another good, like, high sprawler. It's like, look at how much DPS you get just when you get close to the thing. When you're far away, it's slow DPS. So you want to be, like, a mid range almost. You can snipe with that. Like, obviously, it's long range. But ideally, you just get real close because you get so much DPS. And then just auto aim when you're close, dude. It's like Carl, but the brawler is a wall. Because they're right here. Watch that. Cocoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they have no way to get out of that that's gonna be in so crazy and showdown and just like a regular mode all right hypercharge is like it just we, don't, we see how it spawned those we miss but we don't talk about that it just spawns spiders even if you miss which is kind of cool but you usually aren't gonna miss just auto aim it okay, this is what it looks like when you actually hypercharge someone it just spawns them there you go this actually does slow me down though but you can only have three of them on the map at a time. Okay, so you can't spawn more than that. More than that. All right. So yeah, just auto aim your super and it'll hit like 95% of the time. But a bit later, we finally were facing real players. We made to mess with his BB a bit. Yeah, dude, this auto aim it. And then now they're going to be at a 50% HP advantage. Plus, as soon as this gets like too cool right there, we drop those down. Now you have those to worry about. Oh my gosh, that's so unfair. Oh, we're wrong. Okay, now we can just do this. Not today, BB. <laughs> Round number two. Oh my dude, this this cocoon is dirty, dude. We continued on dominating and cocooning everyone in sight from 30 minutes in. We got to 150 trophies. But now normally at this point we switched to Brawl Ball to push faster, but we were having so much fun in showdown. Just check these plays out here, man. Ooh, he almost killed me that one shot though. This is the play. Hit him on the comeback. Let's go. I really I heard she she hit herself with the bubble. Talk about 1000 IQ lucky plays. Still beat her though, but oh, I hit him with my cocoon and he supered me. So he's like stuck. Oh, that was so interesting. So after an hour of showdown, we got to 250 trophies, which is not bad. And then we switched to Brawl Ball for quicker pushing. And we found out if you cocoon someone, they drop the ball, which was really cool and useful. But after that, we hit bronze one. But what's crazy is you can cocoon score in Brawl Ball as well. Cocooned the cocoon score. That's what we're calling that one. Probably not a great idea to try and cocoon me. The cocoon score. Cocooned. <laughs> Dirtiness. That's what you call OP right there. It's like an instant dude. One kill. Two kill. Triple kill. So to say it was going well so far was an understatement. Uh, she was just so unfair, but that might change later in the video. Yes, I'm foreshadowing. We got to silver mastery and then we hit 750 trophies. And then for the first time, we double cocoon the enemy, which is just so insane. Yes, we got our double cocoons. Let's go. <laughs> we continued on and hit silver two mastery and then we hit 900 trophies so we felt worthy to get the amazing charlie skin so we got the amazing skin and we're working towards that amazing title the amazing so that skin is really cool reference to spider-man but what is so amazing is we got the 950 trophies but then a bit later we were one game away from a thousand trophies already get that though It's a cocoon. It's a shield. It's a literal shield just so you can walk in and get a goal. Insane. Get out of here, Lou. <laughs> That's very fitting, bro. Got a cocoon slap in the face with a goal. 1K. She is 
insane, man. So yeah, Charlie was a bit too strong and we pushed her too fast as we weren't capped on master yet. So we continued on and we were still kept winning. And then four and a half hours in, we capped our master for the day. But the next day we pushed was a few days later and a big change happened. So the first order of business here was to drop Charlie a bit to make the grind faster. But if we did get a good start to the game, we would go for the win. Okay, we do go for wins though when we get a good start. Well, we might as well try and win it. It's all auto aim, by the way. <laughs> Almost 7k. And we got 500 credits from that drop. Oh my gosh. And then I just wanted to test what happens with the interaction with our cocoon versus an Eve on the water. Right there. Oh, so it just knocks him back to the water. That was not satisfying as I thought. <laughs> But then now we realized something in the few day break of pushing the mega pig and everything since we last pushed charlie got nerfed wait a turn two and for a minute they nerfed charlie the coons now deal damage or healing at the start of the instance rather at the end okay it's an issue where other types of damage over time would continue to affect well instead of a coon and balance changes they reduced the cocoon duration from 10 seconds to 7 seconds that explains why i fell faster star power digestive reduced hp from 50% to 25%. Okay, and the enemies keep the same ammo after getting off a cocoon. Whoa, those are huge nerfs. But is she still annoying and broken? Okay, Charlie is still the better Carl, basically. Oh, that shot, though. Oh, that dude, the auto aim is what's so crazy. Get owned. Oh, she's still broken. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Best thing about Charlie, she stops Chuck. Dude, that was like perfectly timed. She's crazy. Save me from the Nani stops, Chuck. Woo. Dude, they cannot kill us. Oh my gosh. And then it's like, I don't want to deal with you. I just want to end this game. Bro, that's nuts, man. So we easily got back up to 900 trophies. But yeah, basically, Charlie is still crazy in heist. And she's actually a really good counter to Chuck. So we won easily. And we won so much that we hit 1k once again. Because she's like such a handful to deal with. But shortly after, we were capped on mastery again for the day. So Charlie is still crazy after the nerfs in heist. But we wanted to see if that was true everywhere else. So uh, we wanted to try a new mode. But we're just going to try hot zone now. I have a theory that I think she'll be... Oh my gosh, that bow skin is so cool. It's literally launching fire works but i have a theory that she's gonna be good because she can literally take someone out of the play dude i just can't get over that bow skin my gosh okay we hit the tara <laughs> protect oh <laughs> you can see right at the end there he's even getting a replay of it the crazy plays that could happen it takes a person out of it and they could get stuck in there all right so this game i think we're going to utilize a lot of our super oh my gosh get owned like normally i should use it on rosa but I'll just use it whenever I can, you know? And then versus the gray, our, our gadget is really good. Oh my gosh, dude. Use it on the Pam. She's literally out of the fight for the full seven seconds that this thing's nerfed. Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. Get out of here, Pam. Flex that full emote. Yeah, she's going to be good in hot zone. <laughs> the next game, we won 100 and 0. Like, I mean, that, that is so unfair. And I kind of felt bad for the enemy team. But I even felt worse for this Lou here. Dude, that loose did no shot, man. And then we won again 100 to 0 in hot zone, which is crazy. And then we also got to 1,000 trophies again for like the 10th time already. But we dropped back down for quickly matchmaking. Then we grinded a few more hours and got to gold too. And the unfairness did not stop until we were capped at our master at 18,700 late into the night. It's day four. We've been playing a little bit. Again on the treadmill. Uh, we're at 19,747. But we're actually leaving tonight to go all the way to Sweden to watch the world finals. So there's no way I'm going to be able to catch today i don't think so maybe we'll master in the on the flight there or in the airport we'll see we're playing brawl ball as it's really the best option we have it's a pretty good map for for charlie here honestly like uh the range helps oh, <laughs> i got that in a lot of times people will run um tanks on here and charlie's really good at denying them like any access once you get your super and stuff so the winds have been 
pretty quick, honestly. Yeah, we're 5,000 points left to go. See, right there. We can basically stun him. And it's over. I think I missed. Oh, I got it. Okay. I was scared I missed my trick shot. <laughs> And then we just run by everyone because the hypercharge is broken. Oh! <laughs> oh man, we're on point with those trick shots right now. So we grinded as much as we could before we had to leave. And we got to 20,300 before we had to head to the airport. Then we did play a bit while we were waiting for our flight. But now we were in Sweden. I'll be honest, I thought I was going to have time in Sweden to finish this push here. But between the finals, meeting so many new people, trying to beat the world's finals track, and being super tired at night, I couldn't find time to really grind. But we did get to see how unfair she was at the world finals. I mean, didn't see, because she was banned literally every single game of the world finals. She wasn't even played once. So that's very telling how crazy she is. We are back from the travel. We're basically at like 23,000. We haven't really played gem grab on this mastery push. And I want to see if she still drops gems for the enemy gem carriers if you land your super. Like that was a crazy thing in the dev build. Because if so, gem grab is probably her most crazy mode. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, well... You'll find out here soon. Oh my gosh, you got Rosa. Also, I will say it's nice being home now. Playing on the airport it just was an awful, man. I just need to hit the Otis. And he should drop the gems. Or the bull. Well, he just dropped them because he died. This guy's going to die. Well, we made a game of it, everybody. Oh my gosh, are we turning this around? Okay, I just want to hit the Otis. I really do. Super, he does drop the gems. Even though I'm silenced, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Gets put on. I'm surprised like, that that's the mechanic. Because I guess like if you cocoon the enemy team and they didn't drop them and like say it was towards the end, that would suck. But why wasn't I playing here in gem grab? Only 1,800 to go. Dude. And you get to run away? Oh my gosh, that's so dirty. I don't know her M's like visually it's still going off, but it wasn't hitting me. That's so interesting, bro. They need to nerf that. <laughs> And we're having a great time cocooning fools and we were only 800 away so we had to level ourselves up for the final stretch by getting the past gemmed for rosy charlie reminds me of the evil lady from batman all right let's see it we got a, we got a different vibe to us right now i don't know i like it it looks like a, a petal oh it's a freaking rose bro that is so cool basically i just need to super this mortis and it's a gg not today, bull. Okay, I need to not auto-aim. There we go. Get the gem drops for the rose. Let's go. Bro. <laughs> oh, if you if he would have supered to the middle, he would have got that gem and reset it. That was so close. Then we just grinded a few more games and we were just dominating with his new skin until we were super close to mastering her. And we just got star player to be 70 away. So all we need is one win. Let's go. This is the most weirdest game ever. It's like 2v3 because Edgar ain't doing anything. Why'd that miss? My auto aim failed me. I've been telling you guys the auto aim this whole time and it failed me this one time. Are we going to lose? Well, just like the world finals, Edgar won the game. <laughs> Good start so far. And the, dude, there, there's these brawlers. Just can't, oh, it's a Shelly this time. Yo, where did you come from? No! No! He's too far away. Alright, guys, we're going full sweat. We're not throwing. Edgar ain't beating us. Shelly's not camping, beating us. The, the camp shot works, I guess. Jeez, man. Not today, Shelly. I ain't getting supered in the face again, bro. All right, we just need that one jump. We're playing this nice and slow. We're not getting... We're not throwing today, man. Actually, that bu if that buster would have got me, would have threw me. There we go. Oh, no. Okay. 
That was scary. Buster was about to kill me, but I did have my super and hyper charge, so we were golden there. Oh my gosh, man. Mastery rank up. 10 days later, Charlie's still broken even after the nerfs. You have to reduce the cocoon time. That's like literally the most broken part about her. New cool spider icon. And now we are the amazing spider Charlie. Let's go, dude. But let me know your thoughts on Charlie. Subscribe for more. Use code BT1 because we are amazing now. <laughs>